Okay, I'm back and we're checking the um, noodles again. And just a few minutes past. Not, not like um, this is, uh, I'm trying to keep it as real as possible. So um, let's check this one. So no, uh, an hour or 15 minutes, not even 20 minutes. Or uh, I guess it's not even three minutes or two minutes past. Okay, those are nice. Those are really nice. Okay. So, noodles. Now, maybe you want to cool the wa other water down in it because when the water pours over, again, watch out for your sink. We're going to want to pour this in. Now, we're not using these hot noodles. We're cooling them down. This isn't spaghetti. If this was spaghetti, we would leave, pour the water out and leave them very, very hot because you want hot spaghetti. You, want, you don't want cold noodles with warm sauce. But since this is a salad, we're going to be in... That's really hot. Let's see. I think I'm going to find something to grab that with. And I'm not seeing anything right now, so there we go. It is all the time. <laughs> it's part of cooking, burning your hand. Okay. Pour that hot liquid right into the cold liquid. Okay. Now fill your pan up with more cold water. And we're going to cool the pan down, and we're going to cool the noodles down. We got the noodles got a lot of heat in them, so when you put these noodles back into the water, it's going to heat the water up again. So you want to do it a couple times until the noodles are nice and cold. No. Okay. And be careful because this is the part where some might get away. Now with this dish, okay, let's make sure the water doesn't run over, which it is. Pour some of water off. Okay. With this dish, it's up to you what you want to put with it. It goes really good with a uh, set. It goes really good with a vinaigrette. You want to add like Italian seasoning in it or um, salad dressing, uh, any vinaigrette. It, it goes really good. So you're going to want to see what, take again, like I said before, when you're trying anything out, on your pasta, cold pasta dish or any dish with something, take a small bowl of it, put like a spoonful in, put the least amount of it you can into the pasta, mix it around, taste it. Because the thing is, is if you put all of it into the pasta, then you're gonna realize, oh my God, I made a mistake and here's all this good food and it's, it's too sweet, it's too sour, so that way it's a fail, a fail proof way of um, not messing up your dish. Okay, now olives. Okay, I don't know if you can see back here, but I didn't use all of them. I didn't use all of them, all of them, bad joke. So here's our pile of things we did not use. And we can save this for another meal. And that includes some of the olives. And someone just woke up, but I am I to say that cat, but I can't. You're going to have to go uh, see daddy. Um, oh, and the noodles, forgot to tell you. Okay. Always hold the noodle back. Remember what the noodle looked like dry? This is what the noodle looks like cooked. See? Ah! See how much bigger it is? And it's really flexible, and it's really good. Okay, don't stick that back in there. Okay, so you can chop the olives straight in half, or you can chop them in half and then chop them in half again and have four pieces. It's up to you. So let's stick those in with the um, red bell pepper and the um, 
broccoli. Okay. Cucumber, stick that in. Not gonna stick the mushroom in. Quarter. Cut the apple in half. And then cut it again. And again. And again. And again. <laughs> And again, you can leave the skin on if you want. Okay, let's take the cores out. Didn't know I could use that many agains in one in one sentence. I was on a plane flight one time and um, the pilot said, we will now be deplaning. And I thought that was really funny because I'm wondering, well, when you're on a bike, do you de-bike off the bike? Because if you're deplaning, meaning getting off the plane, if you got off your bike, you'd be de-biking. And I suppose I'm decoring the apple. You can take that a long way. Okay, let's cut these apples into fours. Like that. And I'm sure everyone knows how to cut an apple. <laughs> it's like. Okay, and then cut those into little pieces. Little tiny pieces. And again, you don't have to keep, again, if I didn't say it enough, uh, take the skin off. I like leaving the skin on. And another thing would be good to add to this um, dish. Hickama. Hickama works really well. I like crunchy things. Very simple, very easy. Okay, let's get to the chicken. Now, I keep all of my um, plastic containers, anything that food comes in, you can put the chicken, the rest of the chicken you're not going to use, stick it in there, stick it in the refrigerator if you're going to use it the next day. If you're not going to use it the next day, put it in the refrigerator, uh, put it in the refrigerator, put it in the freezer. So keep in mind, because we're not going to use all this chicken. Now, I peel this chicken, but we're not going to, there's, there's huge pieces in here. There's no way, you know, look at that. That's, we're not going to use that. And when you're cutting with a knife, keep in mind, kind of listen to what's going on because that way you can find bones because last thing you want to do is chomp down on the bone because it does happen so take your chicken out now I don't think we're going to be using all this chicken let's take let's see and we're going to be chopping it fine not like mincing it but just chop it make chop it in the square motion go go Chop, 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 chop four times. Chop, 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 chop four times. S make a square, kind of squish it together into a square. And however big you want your chunks, because you don't want, you don't want to be eating the salad. And big, big piece of chicken, and you want it to blend into the food, not overwhelm the food. And the smaller you chop this, the more this is going to last throughout the week, or however you want it to last. If you want to eat it all at once, go for it. Okay, let's check our noodles. Kind of warm still. Pour it back into the colander. It might be a couple times you have to do this. And if you want, you can stick it in the refrigerator. This this is okay. You can make this this whole meal right here. You can make ahead of time. You can make the noodles and chop everything up, and then there's the only cooking there is is the noodles and the broccoli. That's it. That's the whole the only cooking you did. Okay, those seem good. Take those off. You might want to just let it drain for a while. And yes, I hear you. 
Oh, are you just gonna hang out on the chair? Okay. Okay, um where is my big bowl? <laughs> I had it. Oh god, let's see, now I'm looking around like a um well let's just do the clear bowl here. Huh. Uh, that will work. Handy dandy clear bowl. Okay. So Okay, vegetables. Clunk. <laughs> well, not too clunk. <laughs> Lost some of it. Okay, and if you want, you can take some of the broccoli and just kind of make them into smaller pieces. If you want, you can leave them whole. Okay. I have the version of a two-year-old behind me right now. Okay, so a little bit smaller, and take your, see, okay, put your chicken in, and again, you don't have to use all the chicken, which, I'm just going to use it because I know it will be eaten, okay, and the neat thing with pasta is, when you're doing something like this, you can hold, if you're not going to eat all of it, let's say, okay, that's good. Now, all this pasta is not going to fit in this dish. I can tell you one thing right now. <laughs> I have experience. So let's put some pasta in the dish. Keep an eye on the four-footed two-year-old. good. Now, if you want, there's a lot, again, there's a lot of things you can mix into this. And I am getting close to closing time. So, olive oil. Let's see if I have any of my other... Nope, don't have anything. Okay, you can do mayonnaise with honey, which is really good. It sounds weird, but you mix up mayonnaise about two spoonfuls, two tablespoons, three tablespoons, whatever you want. The consistency, just be careful. Add some honey to it, whip it up, put it in. It's very flavorful. Um, this is basically what you like you want to mix with it. I'm going to do a little bit of mayonnaise. Not a lot. It overwhelms it. Uh, I don't have any vinaigrette right now. If I did, I would go gung-ho with that one. But you do what you have is what you use and you might come up with something good you might come up with uh, if you have some mustard experiment it's all about experimentation okay i will see you later toodles um here's a close-up of what i have going on and that's the pasta really easy really simple and you can add tuna to it you can add shrimp so toodles <laughs>